Now, Jack has never really been a fan of gaming laptops. Why, you might ask? Well, let's face it, laptop GPUs were never really able to hold a candle to desktop GPUs. But finally, with NVIDIA's recent releases of the 900 series M GPUs, Jack might be, uh, splurging a little bit on himself for his birthday, or so I'm told. It's actually Jack's birthday today. You can wish Jack a happy birthday, although by the time this is edited, that will no longer be the case. So today we've got the ASUS ROG G751JY gaming notebook. At first glance, it might appear to be very similar to its predecessor, the G750JZ, but let's take a closer look. A more thorough inspection time, fun wizardy. Yeah, I don't know where it's going with this. ASUS has stuck with its Stealth Fighter inspired design as seen on previous G Series notebooks, but this time with an aluminum finish and a red ROG logo on the back. The dual rear vents have also seen a slight visual tweak with red accents added, but other than that, it's that same very effective and very quiet cooling system inside. As for all around the notebook, we've got the same number of ports as the JZ, but we'll refresh your memory anyway. On the left, you've got a Kensington lock, two USB 3.0 ports, one Blu-ray and DVD writer combo drive, and an SD card reader. Up front, we have the same indicator lights that can be seen whether the lid is open or closed. And then rounding the corner on the right, we have headphones, microphone, and line-in ports for audio. Two more USB 3 ports, a Thunderbolt port, which is really nice to see on a PC. It's mostly a Mac-only feature, but sometimes PC people want to use high-speed interconnects like Thunderbolt, and that's a good thing. And and then, um, yes, and an HDMI port, Gigabit Ethernet, VGA, and an AC adapter port. On the bottom of the JY, we no longer have a user-removable battery, which is actually kind of a bummer. We still have the subwoofer, which does still provide a bit of bass in gaming and when you're watching movies. And then we've still got that removable panel for easy access to drive as well as RAM upgrades. Opening up the lid of the G751JY, we see some of the biggest changes ASUS has made. First up is the screen. The 17.3 inch screen is now a full HD IPS panel. Booyah! With a matte anti-glare coating. Thank you ASUS for nixing the TN panel we saw in the JY, which was not only TN, but not a very impressive TN panel. We still have the webcam with the built-in mic situated just above the IPS panel. I mean, where else are you gonna put a webcam? <laughs> you could put it, you could put it like on the touchpad, but then all it would see is your finger. It'd be like, yeah, that's right, webcam, look at this finger. And then, uh, right. And then there's the keyboard. It's made its return in the same sort of, with the same overall design, but there are some additions and a bit of a color makeover. So the keyboard now has red lettering and red illumination instead of white. The WASD keys are easier to identify this time around with both red walled keys and a little tiny nub that uh, Jack likes to call the gaming home row, which doesn't make sense since it's not in a row, but I can see where he's coming from. He also mentioned that he's quite impressed with the typing experience on the JY, as am I. I actually quite like this keyboard. It's really solid. There's something about the softness of the of the but still tactileiness and the travel distance. It's 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 pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not super mushy to type on like many laptops can be. Then finally, some of the more astute viewers might have noticed a few extra keys at the top left hand corner. These are probably the most welcome change to the JY compared to the JZ. We've got one click gameplay recording, we've got three macro keys, and Jack's personal favorite, a dedicated Steam button that when pressed drops you straight into big picture mode. ASUS most definitely made a sound choice here. I'm not quite sure I feel exactly the same way about the dedicated Steam button. Wouldn't mind if it was programmable and maybe by default open Steam or something like that, but but hey, your mileage may vary. Uh, speaking of sound choices, the JY now has its speakers located on the body portion of the screen hinge and not on the bottom of the screen. This had Jack kind of scratching his head for a few moments trying to figure out where exactly sound was coming from when writing this script until I clarified for him that it was actually coming from inside his head. He's a little crazy. Enough about the exterior, let's go over the specs that make the JY one of the better on-the-go gaming experiences available. First up is an Intel Core i7-4710HQ quad-core processor 
processor clocked at 2.5 gigahertz, 24 gigs, that's right, three sticks, three by eight gig sticks of RAM with a total expansion capability of 32 gigs, although depending on which config you buy, some of them might come with different amounts of RAM. Storage wise, it's got dual 128 gig M.2 SSDs and one 7200 RPM, one terabyte hard drive. But obviously this wouldn't be a gaming notebook without a GPU and the G751JY is the GeForce GTX 980M as its gaming core. Yes, the one with four gigs of GDDR5 memory. So the benefits of the 980M include, but aren't limited to, their new Maxwell architecture, allowing for better performance and better battery life, especially with the aid of their Battery Boost 2.0 technology that limits your frame rates in order to conserve GPU power. And uh, benchmarking on the gaming and gaming on the JY was actually pretty darn impressive. So in Unigen Heaven at Extreme Ultra settings, uh, we saw temps peak at around 70 degrees Celsius with minimum frame rates in the 19.4 range, maximums at 93.8 and an average of 45.7. Keys made a note that the Heaven benchmark almost looked like too real. With Furmark, which is a bit of a power virus, temps climbed to 77 degrees, which is still very much within reason for a GPU like this. Battlefield 4 at ultra settings saw around 70 degree temps, so that gives us some idea of that being sort of the more realistic range. Far Cry 4 on ultra temps got to around 69 degrees, and we saw about 72 FPS average. Oh yeah, Battlefield 4 was 72 FPS average. So it's all kind of in that range of very playable with modern AAA titles at 1080p and reasonable temperatures. Another really cool thing about the reasonable temperatures of the components is that it really doesn't transfer to the outer casing of the JY. The rear right by the exhaust vents will get a little bit toasty, but the top of the keyboard and the bottom of it actually stays surprisingly cool. So conclusion time. The ASUS ROG G751JY seemed at first to be another incremental upgrade that you might see on any sort of notebook when a new generation product comes out in. Really it is, <laughs> but it's a very good incremental upgrade and a very, very solid gaming experience, whether you wanna take it to a friend's house, go to a LAN, um, sit on the couch with your gaming notebook or whatever else the case may be. Guys, if you do wanna check this out, be sure to click on it or the link in the video description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX, and thank y'all for watching.